Rolling in. Rolling into another pair here. Uh, this will be 2-1 and 2-7 again. Uh, the twos are going to be shame on me. Uh, best kept secret, red seven. Best man goes back into those 52 litter. Best man sows at Lackey's. Their mom would have raised uh, the hold the line board that was at Lackey's there. And uh, uh, Sal would have raised reserve at Elkhart County. Had our sweetheart's guild that went campaign uh, successfully two years ago. And again, uh, I think uh, the, this litter of twos, uh, we're going to see, I believe there's 10 of them in the sale. Uh, they're very similar in terms of just build, type, and kind. Uh, the the more traditional Belda one out here is going to be 2-1. The white-legged one's going to be 2-7. I think a really nice pair of gilts that, that uh, we come in here to next. And then I'm going to start with the, the wider belted one, the the two one. You know, I think that gilt just in, in terms of quality it screams it. I mean, just uh, awesome look and awesome shape and, and build and running gear is extremely good. I mean, she, she flexes on all her joints extremely well. She's very square and very, very proportional. And I, I think maybe even for a gilt that's, uh, a rib longer than maybe traditionally, you know, some of these guys like or, or some of the trends show. I, I think that one just reads with the right kind of frame and size and extension all the way through. You know, I, I get excited about her being maybe just a notch longer bodied because I think it fits her look and, and fits her dimension. And she's got the, the stuff behind it to really back it up. You know, she's got the muscle and the power and the feature uh, to go along with that extremely well. We switch over to 2.7, and, you know, this guilt, uh, maybe just a notch shyer uh, on the stick, but, uh, you know, don't let that deter away from her in terms of quality, guys. I, I think this one just is, is very, very nice all the way through, and, and a guilt that, you know, sometimes it's it's nice to have one on feed that uh, that maybe isn't just the most extreme in any areas, but, you know, when you can take home and, and really call her a blank canvas in terms of what you can do with a feed and bucket because she's she's got bone, you know, she's got features, she's got look and extension and frame size, and, and after that, you know, I think the muscle's there, the base width is there, and, and take her home and, and feed her how you want to feed her and turn her into the kind of guilt that you want to make her. You know, if you want to make her a, a big one that's, that's pretty and extended, I, I think she gets that. If you want to make her into a more powerful one that's maybe more opened up, you know, I think she's got the potential to do that as well. So for me, that one's just kind of a an all-purpose or dual or blank canvas guilt, like I said. You know, you can take her home, manipulate her with the feed bucket, and turn her into whatever whatever kind of guilt you want to show. You get that off belt. She's on two seven. At, at, uh, you, I heard you mention red seven back there. She looks like a red seven did at that she age. Yeah, she really she does. does. She's bigger and greener, and and still has shape and look. And and that's not a bad thing to have that in the pedigree because that uh, those will be productive, and you'll still have show ring eye appeal. And there's a world of good in that deal. And that uh, that guild again, I, I think, is a bigger frame one that. Uh, she can be good early because there's enough there, but she can be really good in the end because she is a bigger, greener, later maturing one that uh, is going to have the frame size and look and extension. I could picture that one being very, very good and big and long term also and probably at her best point then and, and still very acceptable in the show ring uh, uh, up to then. The belted one, um, you know, the shot more moderate, but I call her middle of the road on frame size, but she's very proportionate. She's really balanced up. Uh, she has a jackpot look, but enough stuff to be a, a big ring kind of a hog there too, as far as skull and bone and body and dual purpose for uh, for breeding and market. I think in in both directions, and I don't know which way I'd call her today. And I think she could go either way uh, because there's there's enough there um, in in both aspects from the from the terminal market aspects and still a productive kind of a look with feet and legs to burn. Yep, absolutely. Again, the white-footed one there is going to be 2-7. The Belden one's 2-2. Two, two. And I think, I mean, feeding window age, uh, whatever you want to do, those ones uh, you can manipulate a lot, go at, get after harder and faster and still uh, do what you need to do there. So 2-2, uh, two, uh, two, two, or excuse me, 2-1 uh, and 2-7.